Well, Francis, on behalf of all at De Veres, I'd like to welcome you and thank you for coming in. We are particularly pleased that you've come along to this uh, video introduction to our next Irish art sale on the 23rd of July. Well, John, it's a pleasure, always. And with you, it's always fun as well. You speak in such a simple and direct way. You make it very, very easy for viewers to understand what you're trying to say. I think the main thing about a picture is that you shouldn't really need it to be explained. A picture has to hit you in the gut and you know straight away if it's for you or not. Well, we hope this sale will not only hit you in the gut, but will actually <laughs> knock you out. I'm looking forward to hearing your views on this, I think, wonderful Sean Scully painting. It's entitled Double Window. And interestingly, this is a picture that I acquired for an Irish client some 20 years ago in London. And he's kept faith with us over all those years. And that's why we've been lucky enough to secure it for this sale now. I think this painting sums up what Scully is about. You can feel that um, Scully isn't interested primarily in solving just a visual problem, but he's interested in, in expressing the way he felt at a certain time and the things he was looking at and all those emotional feelings get put physically into the raw power of, of the painting. Sure, and people talk sometimes about the windows in his pictures, which he was doing then and I understand he's doing now. But for me, the windows added a kind of extra dimension to the painting. The windows are interesting because there's a kind of conflict between those big slabs of cream and red and then these windows that somehow fight with it a little bit. What Scully does brilliantly is he, he sets up a battle of elements. Sure, sure. And he works on the picture until that battle is resolved and it seems to work. Something that shouldn't work logically, when you look at it visually, holds together in a very powerful way. There's a great physicality to this work. When you look at it, there is a sense that the artist, you could see Scully taking a giant brush and dragging it across uh, the background to get those giant stripes. There is something very gutsy and raw, a, a kind of raw, powerful energy about them, which I think, in fact, reflects the artist. I think when you see a Scully, you feel this intense, visceral physicality. I love the fact that the lines in the background aren't really lines, they're slabs of color. And you have great variety in the scale. The larger slabs in the background, smaller vertical ones in the bottom, thinner ones again at the top, and all those lines invigorate the surface. Even the way he drags the paint across, do you notice there's some of the undercolor showing through? Coming through, yeah. And you can see it, it forms a kind of a, a linear pattern in itself as he's dragging the paint across. What I love about Scully are the thin little lines that are formed between each slab of color so that you get these wonderful horizontal lines reverberating on the surface. It's Tremendous energy, and um, Scully often talked about the musicality of his work, that those lines are like guitar strings that reverberate. Sure. And I think and you can feel that energy coming through. When you look at it on the wall, the paint practically still looks wet. Scully never overworks a picture. When you look at it, there's always that sense of immediacy. He doesn't overdo it. Sometimes, artists like Scully do paint on a scale that really rules out the average domestic setting for the picture to hang in. And yet this painting, it's big enough to be important and not too big to be uh, unusable in a domestic setting. Yeah, I think that's a valid point. 